Hi, I'm Kelly, and welcome to the MyWorks lesson on land, air, and water. What your child will learn with this lesson is what the earth is made up of, as well as developing their sense of order. What you will need for this lesson is your rug. And when you lay out your rug for this lesson, lay it out long, lengthwise so that the narrow end of your rug is pointing towards you. And you'll see why in just a little bit. You will also need three glass jars. And these glass jars should have a top on them so you can screw them on tight. And also, some pictures. These are colored pictures, pictures that we have taken and colored. Ideally, you'll want to have about four or five pictures of items that are things that you would see on land, uh, boats, things that you would have on water, and then things that are in the air. And if you can get real pictures, that is the ideal. Actually, the real ideal would be to present this lesson outside as an initial presentation. It would be really great if you could do this lesson where you can actually pick up dirt and feel the breeze on your skin um, and look at water. But for this lesson, because the environment isn't always there to do this lesson outside, and there just might be times your child wants to do this lesson indoors, and you're going to want to have the materials available for them to do this work whenever they want to do it. Tips for success with any of these lessons is first, watch the presentation that we are showing you now by yourself. That way you'll know how to present the lesson to your child and that will give your child then the freedom to be able to do this work independently. The way this lesson works is presented is first, I'm going to put this tray here, you tell your child, we live on earth. Our earth is made up of three things. Land, land. This is what our land is made up of. Land is where the trees grow and what we walk and drive on. Land. Water. Our earth is also made up of water. There's actually more water on earth than land. Water is our oceans and lakes where sea life lives and where boats can travel. Air. Air is what we breathe. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And you can take your child's hand and blow in their hand so they can feel the air. And if you're outside, they'll feel the breeze on their face. Air. The earth is made up of land, water, and air. Next, we have the cards. And now we'll, this is just reinforcing that they understand the difference between land, air, and water. These cards say land, air, and water. This says land, air, water. Hmm. Here's a picture of a little submarine. Where does a submarine travel? Do you see submarines on the road? And your child, no. Where does a submarine travel? In the water. A boat. I know. I see boats travel through the air. Your kids, ugh. Your hair is so silly. But 
just make a game out of it. Have a lot of fun with your kids. It's a time for you to teach a very basic lesson about what the earth is made up of, but it's a time for you to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with your child or children and, and be a little silly with the lesson because they know boats are on water. Um, and it's another way for them to remember. But we have pictures of boats, helicopters, helicopter goes under air because a helicopter flies through the air. The truck, and the truck is traveling on land. And so this is just another way to reinforce the beginning cultural lesson of land, air, and water. And again, if you have real pictures, they'll be able to see an actual boat traveling through the water instead of the colored one. We will have a PDF file available to you so that you can print off these pictures or pictures very similar to these and your child, you can make a different work out of it. You can have them color the pictures of land, air, and water and they can make their own work. Another extension to this work, if you want to go there, is learning some pretty big words that go with this. Land is also called our lithosphere. Water is called our hydrosphere. And air is called our atmosphere. And atmosphere they'll probably have heard before if they've ever, you know, listened to the Weather Channel or heard about anything going on in the atmosphere, or space travel, so on and so forth. But those are some really fancy words to do later on in the lesson, certainly not as an initial presentation. Enjoy the lesson on land, air, and water.